Today, I am showing you how to make the most epic fruit display. I'm so excited because this is definitely a more elevated take than your traditional fruit tray, and it would be perfect to make for a bridal shower, a baby shower, a party, or a get together, and your guests are definitely going to be wowed by this. With today's video, I'm gonna show you how to pick out different fruits for this fruit display. I'll also show you how I cut each of them to be pretty and decorative, and of course, I'll show you how to assemble the whole platter. This is a display that can be made any time of year. You can always switch up the fruits to make it different depending on the season that you're making it in. I love making fun and decorative displays and grazing tables and cheese boards. So if this is your kind of thing, make sure to subscribe and I'll link some of my favorite other videos in the description below. To make this fruit tray, you will need to first grab a platter. I'd suggest one that's at least 12 by 17 inches. You want something that's big enough to hold all of the fruit. I've chosen to make my fruit platter kind of like a rainbow colored theme. So we're starting out by putting some of our dark fruits down in the middle. This includes both blueberries and blackberries. Next, you'll take 32 ounces of strawberries and we're gonna cut the strawberries into some fan shapes. This is a great technique to add some decoration to the platter. You don't have to do these to all the strawberries. Some of the strawberries you can cut in half or quarters, but the fan just adds a little bit of extra decoration. Okay, so next to the blueberries and blackberries, we're gonna add in our red color. This includes the strawberries that we've just cut along with some raspberries. Then I like to place some of the decorative fan strawberries on top in strategic places to make it look extra nice. Now let's move on to the pineapple. Be sure that your pineapple has ripened and then we're gonna start by cutting off the top leaves. Save these because we're going to use them on the platter. Next, cut off the bottom of the pineapple and discard. Then stand the fruit upright and cut the peel off in vertical strips. Then cut around the core. The core is tough, so you'll want to discard that, but we'll keep all of the flesh around the core. That's the good stuff. Once you have all your slices, then you're going to cut the pineapple into little bite-sized pieces to make it super easy for people to pick off your fruit display and eat. When you're adding your pineapple to the tray, first start out by placing the tall leaves on one side of the platter. This is gonna help give a tall visual element to the fruit display. Then place all of the slices of pineapple around the leaves. I really am just obsessed with how the pineapple leaves make this fruit tray look so beautiful. All right, next we're moving on to orange slices. I would suggest using navel oranges so that way you don't have any seeds in your oranges. I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect slices by first cutting the oranges in half and then cutting the half into four small slices. These are literally the perfect bite-sized pieces that will be easy for your guests to eat. Place those on another side of the board opposite of the pineapple. Moving right along, we're gonna make a watermelon bowl next. First, wash your watermelon to ensure that the skin is cleaned and any dirt and debris is removed. To select a good watermelon, you'll look and see that it has a yellow spot. That's where the watermelon rests on the ground and usually it indicates a ripe melon. You can also test how heavy it is. You want it to feel heavy for its size. To prepare this watermelon, first slice off both ends, then slice the watermelon in half down the short side. Use a melon baller to scoop out the flesh of each side of the watermelon. You can set all of these little melon balls to the side. Then with the leftover watermelon rinds, scoop out the remaining flesh and then dump out any leftover juice. We're basically making a watermelon bowl that can sit on the display and look super cool. Once the rind is empty, you'll add in all the watermelon balls that you scooped out. Don't worry if your watermelon balls aren't super symmetrical, it's still gonna look beautiful and you can garnish the top with some of the melon balls that turned out a little bit better. That's a little secret hack for how food stylists make their food look pretty. I like to set this on the opposite side of the pineapple leaves to help balance out the whole board visually. Next, we're gonna add in grapes. Make sure that there's small clusters of grapes that people can grab and there's not too many grapes on one cluster. Feel free to also use red grapes if that's what you would prefer. Next up, grab your kiwis. To make sure your kiwi is ripe, gently press on the skin. You want it to give a little and that's how you'll know that it's ripe. For this, we're making kiwi flowers. You'll want to grab a paring knife and cut a zigzag pattern around the middle of the kiwi. Try to keep a consistent and even pattern as much as possible, but it will turn out beautiful either way. Once you've cut all the way around, gently tug to reveal the beautiful pattern. 
You'll want about 8 kiwi for this whole display so you can continue to cut until you've finished all of the kiwis. These flowers are so beautiful so I like to add them as decoration around the entire fruit display. And then you can make one kind of pile of kiwi on the corner of the fruit tray. Next up we are cutting some mangoes. Again, you'll want to wash the skin because the skin is going to be part of the board so make sure it's clean. Check that it's right by gently pressing and if it gives a little, you're good to go. Start by cutting the mango with a chef's knife along each side of the pit that's in the middle of the mango. This should result in two slices. Next, switch over to a paring knife and make a cross hatch cut through the flesh. Be sure not to cut through the skin of the mango. You'll want to repeat this process to two mangoes so that way you have four sides. Then once you're done with the cutting, gently press up on the bottom of the skin to expose the beautiful cubes. I love how this makes mangoes look. You can stack the mangoes on each corner of the tray and then we're moving on to cantaloupe. First, give the melon a good wash and then use a chef's knife to draw a faint line around the entire middle of the cantaloupe. We're going to do the same zigzag technique that we used on kiwis, but this faint line helps us make sure that the cuts are even all the way around the melon. Make sure to use a chef's knife during this process so you can cut deep enough into the middle of the melon. Once you're done with the cuts, it takes a little muscle, but you can pull the melon apart. Then take a spoon and remove all of the seeds in the middle. Now you can stop here and just use these pretty cantaloupe flowers as decoration, or you can grab another cantaloupe and scoop melon balls out and into the cantaloupe just like we did for a watermelon. It's completely up to you what you choose to do here. Since there's no more room on the fruit tray, we're just going to add this cantaloupe to the side on the table. I think it perfectly brings this whole fruit display together and finishes off this fruit display really nicely. Don't forget to check out the link in the description below to find even more tips and tricks on how to make this beautiful fruit display. 